Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to, well I say welcome back, welcome to a new series on the channel. This is a server I've been playing on now for a little while um, called Creepers and Cream. The reason why I currently look like a villager in shiny armour is I got pranked last night whilst AFK. Absinthe cat says hi. Yeah, so that was interesting. Um, not exactly how I wanted to start this episode, but uh, we got a few new heads out of it, which is always useful. Um, so basically, this server is one where it is owned, I believe, by Annie, Leo, Shadow, and Taz. Uh, Annie is currently... Uh, uh, bleh. Annie and Leo are currently on at the moment, uh, Annie being AFK, but as you can see, there was a couple of others in the tab as well. Now, the whole point of this um, server is it's very, very similar to what Hermitcraft is. If you don't know what Hermitcraft is, go on to hermitcraft.com and look it up. It goes and shows you all about it. Um... So this here is my base, and as you can go and see, we have the armor stands, we have mob heads, as you saw by, uh, that's the wrong chest, by what was on my head. You can also see in the chest, I have many different ones. We have one player sleep, which I'm about to go and demonstrate. Um, and yeah, this here is my little plot of land, which will eventually become my base. Now, the one that I'm going to be doing on this is, um, oh, hello. Um, the one we are going to go and be doing on this is very, very much the same as what we were doing on the Let's Play. We are going to actually be turning this, though, into a village and actually repopulating said village. So we are actually going to be building one from scratch. Uh, obviously, there will be farms hidden in all the buildings. In here, once I get round, uh, and through here. Oh, no. My villagers have gone. Well, I'm now the only villager in here, because all the others have died. Dang it. Okay, so going through into the nether now, um, this is my glorious amazing tunnel with the portal to, there we go, the drowned farm. So this here is actually meant to be a trident farm. So um, obviously the hope is that one of these guys falls through with a trident. You come along, smack away him, all the loot goes and falls into here. It also doubles up, apparently, there was a fish farm as well. Um, fish get caught up in the bubble beta and then just sort of, like, flop through, die on there, and uh, actually go and drop. So I actually have a little bit of a slow food source as well. Um, the tunnel was mainly built by Absinthe. It was redesigned. Um, I basically just used a load of horrible looking blocks at one point and then she just came along and made it worse which was another reason why if you go back on my channel a little bit further you will hear um, sorry you will see a video called pranking the prankster that was the person who we pranked it was a very very fun video if you haven't already check it out and if i remember i will try and leave a link in the description and a card up the top uh so this is our nether tunnels we have got iceways all the way along so if you're unlike me and actually remember to bring a boat you can zoom through uh we do have other people's like bases off of um here uh, I'm not sure whose those ones are, if I'm honest, but we do go and have the bases as well. I'm uh, just trying to go and get to the main hub, just to go and show you guys. So I know it's not too far. Uh, this is the 
the designs i believe for the tunnels and things like this um this is the main hub at current um which obviously is you know in in comparison it's it's fairly small to some servers that we have seen and been on in the past but you know what for the player base that we have it is absolutely perfect we also have a nether book uh, which basically goes and says, you know, whose base is, at what coordinates, um, things of note, so another fortress, sorry, another frotress, uh, an ocean monument, uh, public skelly farm, ice tray, other players, the end, uh, which we've got to go to in a bit, resource desert, and witch farm. So, over into spawn we go, and you may get the hint of what actually we have here as well. Uh, myself, Headcracker, and I believe it was Absinthe who supplied the villagers. Um, built these farms. Um, over the course of, I think it was about a week. Um... It's the same one that I use over in my Let's Play series. Uh, again, unfortunately, I don't know who the original author is. Um, that was our Secret Santas. There's cats everywhere. I'm not 100% sure whose they are, but there's cats. Um, and this was the start of like the building to wrap around the iron farm. Um, I'm hoping it actually is still working. Um... I've noticed on the server there is a few issues. Sometimes they don't produce golems, sometimes they do. Or the like you know, the golems get stuck on the edges. Um but yeah, we actually have come to the point now of it's where we actually have so much iron and bone meal. Um so there you go, there's one double chest worth of iron blocks. You know, th this thing, as I say, it's sat in the spawn chunks, it just produces iron all day, every day. I actually think we're overflowing again. Yeah, there we go. We're overflowing again. So that just goes off into um, a lava pool. That's Leo's luggage. I apologize, Leo. And here we go. A basically six double chests full of iron blocks. Uh, we have a makeshift little snow farm here um, with Annie's ice cream scoop. So we can get all the snow blocks and everything that we need. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, as I say, we have the armor stands, which means that they we can position them, we can put heads on them, all variety of things. I have got to come and show you this one. This is what happened on my first day of the server. Um, I came into here, this was before this building actually existed, and basically what happened is I saw this guy. Thought, fairly cool, nice. I was over here, had slept, look around, there is a spider just in line with him. I got out my bow, I shot, and instead of shooting the spider, I shot the receptionist. So, hence the reason why I am here with my bow, shooting the receptionist. This here is so we can actually go and click the um, button, we receive a book. Uh, I don't think I can look in the command block. I can't. Okay, that's fine. Um, we received the book which actually controls the arm stand. As you may hear in the background and also see by my subtitles, we do have a pacified pillager down here. Not 100% sure what we're going to do with him, but he's called Boo to a Goose. He originally was going to be used in the iron farm to uh, scare the villagers into producing golems, but we found that it didn't actually work very well, so in the end we used zombies with the player heads on so they didn't burn. So I'm going to hop over to another project that I've just done, and then we'll wrap up this episode, because as I say, this is only just an introduction to the server, and uh, yeah... Okay, so we are going to go into the end dimension. We are going to figure out now, because it's all changed, where I'm going. It's over this way. So basically, I helped um, 
the server by building an ender render and then uh, Annie and Absin the cat have come along and basically decorated this place um, so once it loads in there we go so this here is my farm uh, there are four spawning platforms which spawn the enderman in and then in the middle there is a endermite which has been named uh, in a minecart the whole tube is basically because I found that um, when the endermen were running they got a lot of forward momentum so we're then landing outside of the area of where I wanted them to so this is the reason why we build this sort of rib design meaning that we can actually look in um, and see them falling but also meaning that they are actually directed to where we needed them so coming down here uh, there is a lot of items left um, no there is uh, so basically they will all funnel down into here we can then swipe them they're all one hit kills all their items drop into the hoppers which are below the carpet which are currently full uh, yeah okay the system is still working I have I panicked slightly then <laughs> um, but yeah the farm is actually so efficient that the hoppers can't actually keep up they do back up um, so if we can just get it so I can click this hopper here as you can see completely and utterly jammed up um, but it then goes underground um, using a dispenser into waterways waterways then shoot out over here into more hoppers which then go into a dispenser on an observer clock up the water beta which is a soul sand bubble beta and over into the storage which is all of these chests here this also does have an overflow protection you can see part of the mechanism here so what happens is is the uh, ender pearls fall down these hoppers here into a dispenser a comparator reads the dispenser output pushes this piston forwards which makes these two go and tick away and they are then so there you, go. you can see the dispenser there they are then thrown out into the void so meaning that we don't have any overflow issues um if i were to build this again i would obviously try and funnel them down into a narrower gap so it's easier for a player to come along and swipe them the plus side however for this is it means that more than one player at a time can come and use the farm so yeah guys, that will go and do it for an episode, I know we haven't obviously done much in this one, it was just an introduction and uh, basically showing you what I have currently done on this server. Uh, in the next one we will probably go and begin um, a farm or the village itself, maybe even start actually moving villagers over and get a villager breeder up and running. Um, very soon we are actually going to have to retake on the Ender Dragon. I did um, an experiment on this server with the same as what was in my Let's Play of it was where we killed the Ender Dragon with beds. Um, and unfortunately it dropped the dragon head but it didn't drop an Elytra so I really want an Elytra so we can go end raiding and get shulker boxes because I need them. Um, and also we need to get rid of this stupid look that we're in and get back into full diamond and my beautiful face. So thank you very much guys, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you want to go and leave a comment, go and leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I do go and read them all as soon as they come in and I will also reply to you. And uh, if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.